Hey, here's Steve Morris Engines. I'm Steve. This is a uh, engine, a small block, a legit small block engine. And you know those are getting harder and harder to uh, ever find any longer. People just don't do them as LSs have taken over the world, it seems. But anyways, uh, a legit uh, 400 cubic inch small block Chevrolet F2 reverse cog drive uh, supercharged on methanol uh, so kind of a different combination but this is an engine that Shannon Newman brought us from uh, Illinois and uh, everything from you know down to all in there this is going in his uh, 72 I gotta change this pulley sorry but uh, not gonna run it with a belt on dyno obviously but uh, <clears throat> uh, it goes in a 72 stock frame small tire Chevelle so that's gonna all be pretty interesting now this was the engine that was in the car NA on uh, E85. So he had good parts, you know, good block and uh, good cylinder heads, and uh, he gave us the rough shaft rock arm system and an intake manifold. All that stuff we could use, we just needed a change to our rotating assembly, camshaft obviously, uh, converted the intake manifold over to fuel injection. I uh, had the guys over at Wilson Manifolds do that. Uh, we do that every once in a while, but. Uh, Honestly, they do a better job. <laughs> They're better welders. Uh, anyways, the uh, uh, F2 Pro Charger, solid roller. Uh, this one happens to have Holly on it, coil on plug. Uh, so it has our whole uh, dyno set up on it. And uh, so Shannon wanted to make in between that 1500-ish range, 1500 to uh, 1600 horsepower range, which is a pretty good sweet spot for uh, small box. Now, the other thing that we're doing here too is he wanted to run it with the uh, air motive 10 gallon per minute pump. Um, and that is right on, in that 1500 horsepower range uh, with a bunch of voltage to the pump, that is right on the outside limit of horsepower. Every, everything just kind of fits well. So that's a pretty decent combination. You're not gonna, it starts to lose, it starts nosing over just a tick on uh, voltage and uh, uh, but if you throw, you know, 17 volts with the bat, with the alternator is going to put on it all the time, it'll fix a lot of that. Um, but that's probably about as max as you can get right there. At, uh, um, in fact, we've had to manipulate it just a little bit uh, to make that work. Um, but our normal stuff, good, uh, uh, you know, with a copper gasket, uh, our SMX hoop program that we put in there, a chamber mod on an AFR. Uh, cylinder head here uh, so uh, keep in mind and I've told Shannon this that there is not a small block Chevrolet in the world that is not going to have a head gasket problem eventually with uh, in big horsepower stuff it just is what it is so and you just have to keep track of that and this is pretty good I mean we've made this is with the head gasket receiver groove hoop program and chamber mod this is about as good as we can can get it uh, but it'll still end up eventually starting to leak a little bit. And then as you lean on it any harder than this 1500-ish range, um, they will, you know, a 2000 horsepower small box Chevrolet is a head gasket eater. It just will. Um, and it's just something you deal with and you just know what's happening and you're going to end up fixing some head, head gaskets, especially if it's, we did not do a full, the great big conversion, you know, where we did a half inch head stud and did a billet cylinder head and all this other stuff. I mean, this is still a cast uh, AFR cylinder head and a dark block. So, uh, uh, you know, like 400 cubic inches, so we still keep the bore small. Uh, don't need a whole bunch of cubic inches for these kind of, for this kind of application for what Shane wanted. So, uh, nice, good, solid piece. What I'll do is uh, we will, uh, uh, I'll set the camera down, we'll make a pull on it, and I'll show you the numbers.
we go. Now, you can see, uh, take a look at the numbers here. A pretty nice, good, safe spot here. I think it just uh, got to rearrange my uh, uh, max RPM limiter because it just tickled it right there at the very end, I think. So it didn't collect a number up here at uh, 8,000, 7,800, 8,000. But you can still see, still climbing up there. It's got a pretty nice curve through here. Um, 1535 at 7,700 RPM. Uh, and it's actually made a peak torque all the way up here at 7,300 RPM. So it's still climbing up through here. Um, but it gets pretty, pretty aggressive up through there for sure. Um, and we're, we're well into the area of horsepower that uh, Shana wants to make. So we're, uh, we're going to keep it in the safe area because we can always make more horsepower. That's usually not the problem. Keeping things alive, keeping things good, <laughs> keeping things easy is always the, the bigger deal. And uh, boost wise, let's take a look here. Uh, that was at uh, 28 pounds of boost. Uh, and that's about what we've been seeing right through that range. Uh, 114 pounds of, of uh, oil pressure. And uh, our fuel just dives off here just at the very end. And what we were explaining was, uh, as I showed you earlier with the uh, fuel pump, an electric fuel pump that is right this whole thing is right out on the outside edge of where we want to be fuel pump wise so we can take a look at where we were battery voltage uh he has an alternator on it which you can see right there uh so maintaining 17 volts it's going to have more power and won't have that drop it won't have the drop right here in fuel pressure when you got more battery voltage there uh we're down in the fifth probably in about 15 volts so 17 volts helps out that fuel pump a ton uh, just makes it a whole lot better. So super good, super uh, uh, just right dead on the money, especially for a nice little small block deal, a conventional small block deal. Anyways, I'm Steve Morris, Steve Morris Engines. Have a great day.